And while people got a chance to soak up the sun at the shore, storm threats canceled some fireworks here in the city. But we're all hoping the rain stays away from Monday's big show over the Art Museum. Meteorologist Tammy Sousa is back with us now with a full look at the forecast. Hey, Tammy. Well, I got to tell you, tonight is a mess for some people. Others, they're having a great time. No problem at all. Let's take a look outside. We have some ominous storm clouds now moving past Center City. We're still looking at rain moving across the Philadelphia area, and we will see that on and off this evening. I don't think it tapers off until later tonight. 86 right now. We made it all the way up to 92 today with a feels like that was at 98. That was the heat index. So we are looking at these west-southwest winds still driving in that moisture. And you can see almost a direct line moving from west to east. So these are trends over the same spots again and again. Some of this will drop southward. Some of this will fill in and move northward, but not all of us will see showers and storms tonight. However, I do want to focus on this area because this is of concern for me. This is the area where we have seen the storms moving again and again and again. Now we're seeing them drop a little bit further south into South Jersey and parts of Newcastle County. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning until 645 for this area moving out of Newcastle County into Salem County. This is because of one to one and a half inch size hail. That is ping pong size, by the way. And uh, ping pong ball sized hail was reported earlier today in Lancaster County. Also 60 mile an hour wind gusts. So if we track this out, we're looking at Porter uh, Town right around 618. That's when the storm will start sliding in. It's only moving at 15 miles an hour, so it is just going to sit on top of you and dump rain. It looks like um, Elsinboro at 622, Quinton at 626, Alloway at 627, and Stockington at 632. Again, this is moving off to the south and the east very, very slowly. We also have this flash flood warning. This is for Chester County. This is through 915 tonight. Huge amounts of rain fell there because this storm has been sitting here now for about three hours. You can see right here is the area of concern from East Nottingham all the way over to Pennsville in South Jersey. And this is just to the south of Wilmington, but it does move through Newark. So you can see right there very heavy rain taking place there and in Pennsville and just to uh, the south of East Nottingham. This again was the area we were most concerned with earlier today. Over four inches of rain has fallen in some spots and it is still raining. Here are the hail tracks. We saw that hail coming down as well. It's beginning to taper off in size, but we did see plenty of hail. Now, this is all being driven by this cold front as it moves in to our very unstable air mass. It's causing lift, and these storms are popping. 60 mile an hour wind gusts still possible tonight. Downpours and flooding possible. Ping pong ball size hail is possible, and this should all start to taper off after 10 o'clock tonight. So here we go. Let's walk through it. We're watching these storms drop further to the south at 7 o'clock across central Delaware and into South Jersey down the shore. Little thing pops up here in the Lehigh Valley, but we're still watching 8 o'clock, Delaware and down the shore. Then things quiet down. Here we are at 10. It's quiet. We see some more storms at 2.30 firing up. We go into tomorrow. Look at this. We're dealing with just some spotty showers early in the morning, and then the clouds clear by 1 o'clock. A beautiful day, and this is the weather that we carry all the way into our 4th of July holiday. So we just have to get through tonight. This is the rough part. Uh, tomorrow, we're looking at 86 degrees, gradual clearing to sunshine, 89 on the holiday. It'll be a beautiful day, a bit on the humid side, though, and then very unsettled. The rest of the forecast looks like Sorry? a chance of a shower or storm each and every day. Howard? All back right, to thank you, Tammy. And stay with CBS 3 for continuing coverage of storm chances throughout the night. Remember to have the CBS Philly app downloaded, and you can always get the latest at CBSPhilly.com.